We'll now wait for the arena announcer to introduce the judge. And here is our judge, Helen Saunders, comes from Crawley in Sussex. She's actually born in Southampton, had dogs most of her life. First dog, an Irish setter, which led her to showing and breeding dogs. And she started agility in 1991. Now, this is so, uh, an international competition. First dog there is from Wales. Connie Sellers with Fly, this Border Collie nine-year-old bitch from Chepstow in South Wales. Her first agility dog. And bring him round the way to get him the fastest run onto the dog walk, as Graham was saying earlier. Jumping into the corner, she was nice there. Now, can't see where she's going, but she can now. Nice and tight. Nice little straight bit there, now they're going over the A-frame. Good contact on the white markers, and here's the difficulty. Pulling the dog in, very slowed it down actually to bring it in. Very, very nicely nice. handled there. Clear from the first round, the object is, is not to get eliminated in this second round. If you're eliminated, you can't win the competition. That's a good time, 38.81. Well done, uh, Connie there, a clear round. And she was clear in the jumping round this morning, so that's a great start. So Nicely made, and you'll just see... Look, qualify just for the final with that. She will, I think, just guided the dog in beautifully. The dog from Belgium next. Sally Andrews is the handler. The dog's called Jumper. He's a three-year-old border collie. Again, clear from the first this round. The first year running at the highest level for this pairing. My word, that dog's quick. That could be a problem later. Well, that's uh, one of the modern techniques now because uh, people lose so much time on the contact, potentially. They're teaching the dogs to run off the end. Very difficult. Oh, this is a pretty good run. A little bit wide there. Bit of control needed now. Very and got nice. it. Got the yes. Good timing. 34.38. That is quite a big improvement on the South Walian dog. So Belgium in the lead. And just how the handler. Oh, a little Next bit of a Next we have there. a dog from the Isle of Man. Oh, we're watching the the weave. But well, here's our dog from the Isle of Man. This is uh, Molly. This is a semi-year working sheepdog, just kicking off there with Sharon Maternan. Fourth year running that they've represented all. Well, they're not going to break any records for speed. This is a very gentle, easy start they've done. And already running five pokes off the end of the dog walk. And so many distractions nearly taking over the dog, not or the handler not being totally confident on the movement here. But that was nice into the weed. And again, if she can just avoid an elimination, we're taking 16 through to the final. Uh, she could potentially still make it. Just five faults. Nicely there. 39.01. You'll see them jump off here. Must make the contact point. Didn't. Jumped off. A really nice, easy decision there for Judge Helen Saunders, who was perfectly positioned. American competitor now, Roseanne Damascio, with straight three and a half year old border collie. I think she won the jumping round this morning. Uh, the Americans always send a fantastic representative. They choose their representative by the top international competitor uh, over the year. They were actually second in the European final, in European Open final in 2013. That's uh, oh, there's five back in. So she's going to carry just so the she five. was clear in the jumping round this morning as well. Yep, and I think she won it, Peter. So that'll put her well up the well up the the, uh, the five falters, I think. Five falters, so with 35.7. It was a very good time indeed, wasn't it, for Roseanne there? Just in, you have to go between the first two poles. That's simple as can be. Now this next dog was eliminated this morning, so they can't win the overall competition, but they can win this one. 
This is Vivian Nielsen with Shatsu. This is a five-year-old border collie bitch. And they are, well, this dog is a Nordic, Danish, Swedish, Finnish, Norwegian champion. And they come from Denmark. Just steady down on the end of the dog walk. They're going to come now onto this fast section, and then they've got a sharp turn to the right at the end. Oh, very oh, wide, all too a wide. refusal going past the start is a refusal. So five faults, ten all in total. Only just made the contact on the A-frame as well. So with the elimination, they may just not make the final. And again. A very nice finish, nicely controlled seesaw. Well, a couple of faults there. Here they are. Well done, Vivian. And oh, just couldn't get a grip. It is so difficult for them on this surface. Yeah, there's the refusal. Now from Luxembourg, we have Daniel Feider. Those called called DJ. I don't know how good it is at spinning the records. <laughs> Six and a half year old border collie. Oh, they both Whoa, slip. Yeah. No fault there, though. That shows no how slippy the carpet is. There you are, there's proof of it. Well done, he's picked it up. He's recovered. He's recovered, and the dog's going fine. No fault yet. Oh, now there is. <laughs> so he's run round that obstacle, oh, and he's yeah. gone into the weaving poles, which, is, which was not the next obstacle. And so that's an elimination. an elimination. Well, they weren't eliminated this morning, but they're eliminated now in this one. But, but they'll complete the course. All good entertainment. So Luxembourg ain't going to win. Lovely international competition. And again, went into the uh, weave the wrong way. But you can't be faulted once you've been eliminated. That's your lot. We started off with uh, 21 competitors. And we're taking 16 through to the final. So as you can see now, anyone that goes clear and that doesn't get eliminated, or anyone who doesn't get eliminated, will go through, providing they weren't eliminated through to the final this evening. Oh, and he's down. Oh, but... <laughs> Made, made the up, though. No fault there, but there were okay. others. They, they, <laughs> they do like to walk backwards, oh, Europeans. Oh. They do like to walk backwards. <laughs> and I'm sure someone will take that for him and play it to him again. YouTube will enjoy that for days. So now from the Republic of Ireland, we have Bonnie, which is a 12-year-old bitch. Mary Dolan from Dublin, fifth occasion to represent Ireland here at Crofts. Making sure. Oh, and there's a wrong course, elimination, jump the wrong way. Jump the wrong way. Interesting signal there that uh, Helen Saunders was giving us because she gave the, the magic X sign behind her back. Well, the Kennel Club rules say that you must watch the dog at all times, even after it's been eliminated. So what she didn't want to do was turn away from the dog to give the X from the front. So she continued to watch the dogs, but signaled the E from behind. Graham, you explain it so well. Such a shame. Uh, that dog's usually handled by Mary's husband, Declan, um, and they were actually the runner-up last year, but I don't think they're going to do it this year, unfortunately. So, another European dog here from Italy, Francesca Zanti with Disney. Seven-year-old Border Collie, this one. An Italian agility champion. The absolute Italian agility champion, 2013, that means the top dog in the country is agility for last year. That's nicely through there. This is the fast section down where they've got to come. Oh, there's a refusal. Another one. Just came past. I think that's the third we've seen there, Peter. It's so easy to do, obviously. It is, but they hopefully the rest of the competitors out back on the monitor will be watching that, and hopefully we're not going to see any more do that. We'll wait and see. They've got to push around the back of that. Quite a difficult manoeuvre. Nice bit of control coming up here, but still only on five faults. 37.52, rounded up there, 519. Yeah, and she was clear from this morning as well, so hopefully that's going to take her through. Quick thinking, corrected the dog before it got eliminated. From the Netherlands now, Katja Schlippens with her bitch Ziva. It's a Belgian Shepherd dog, this one, a Malinois variety, four years old. Another one clear from this morning. First time in the UK. Very excited to be here. How well can they do? Oh, and it's a wrong course. Elimination. There's the mark. So picking up elimination. 
So she'll uh, be really, really disappointed with that. But as you say, all these in international competitors, it's their their ambition to be here at Crufts. And although this isn't an invitational, oh, uh, it, they are uh, really, really proud to be representing their country. I'm sure they are. I, you know, I've not seen the Belgian Shepherd doing uh, this before. Actually, I'm, that's not true. The Gronendals, there used to be a wonderful Gronendal team of black Belgian Shepherds that uh, used to take part in a lot of agility. There, there are quite a few of them competing at the moment, Peter, are and they, they're yeah. very, very competitive dogs. They're very good. OK, next to go, it's Thomas Barrett. And just came inside the jump, and there she goes, head, head in her hands, bless her. <laughs> Same the whole world over the sport. Next competitor here is from Germany, Thomas Barrett with Duncan. This is a five-year-old Border Collie dog. Duncan of Goblin's Fountain, it's called. Strange name. Pretty, pretty quick. Third time at Crufts. Pretty quick. Had a, a good time from this morning, but carrying. Uh, it was a finalist here last year. Yep. Sixth place overall. It's a great achievement to get that, to get into these competitions and to get placed, a recognisable place is really good. But how fantastic it is that wherever you go in the world, you can compete on equal terms with these people. It's just, apart from the language, the rest of it's just about the same. Just steadying on down. Yes. Oh, is he happy? Yes, he is. Oh. Yeah, wow. look at him. Second place at the moment. Second place. Well, they're certainly fully qualified for this evening. So, if it, as you said, Graham, every dog that isn't eliminated during this uh, dog round will probably go through. Well, now for Spain, Giulio Freire with Zika, Border Collie, three-year-old bitch. Just taking the time at the end, making sure that the judge sees he's got that contact. He's oh, running five on there. He was clear from this morning. He just needs to avoid the dreaded X. They were third in the World Championship. I think that was in 2013. He actually runs a dog school with uh, for agility dogs. Good run, 34.855, it was a jolly good time, but five penalties, Should but they certainly through. qualify. And you see the handler right there, and just guiding the dog, not giving the dog any opportunity to go wrong. OK, next to go is Catherine Porter from Northern Ireland this time. Catherine Porter from Lisbon, Northern Ireland, with Yogi, this dog is six years old. Here last year with uh, with a bitch actually, not with uh, not with this dog. She was really pleased this morning. She had a lovely clear round. Um, not the quickest, but uh, that's not necessarily the the object of the exercise in these qualifying rounds. This is uh, quite a big border collie as well, isn't it? He, he's lovely, lovely, really good. I'm not sure whether she she actually shows him as well, but he's he's a really good example of a border collie in my opinion. Oh, he's lovely. Yeah. No oh, arguments there. Turn in the wrong way. A little bit of time lost, but no penalty. He's going to find that weave entry. Look at that. Very nicely done there. Into the collapse of the tunnel. Oh, wrong course. Jumped from the wrong side. Oh, and Helen has a smile on her face and says, Oh, I'm so sorry to eliminate you there. Oh, dear. <laughs> that will keep them out of the final. And the dog just turning her away. She corrected it really, really well there. Uh, kept her head on. And you see going over the Kennel Club jump in the wrong direction. And the Saltires have been out there as they came into the ring. Representative of Scotland, Alan Short from Kirkcaldy, with Bruce, this four-year-old working sheep dog. Alan says he's very lucky to have Bruce, who's left the last uh, of a farm litter. Oh, no. that refusal again, wrong way, just going past the, the jump. That's been the uh, worst place or the most difficult place or the place that's caused the most faults. Yeah, whether they're just not anticipating it, as you say, you'd expect them now to be thinking, I must pull them back in, but there we go. He's only running with a few faults, so he's got every chance of making tonight. And a good time, well 36.759, but with five faults.
Alan Short now in sixth place there with that run. There's the refusal just going past. If they pass the line of the thing or they make an attempt and fail to complete it, that's a refusal. So. Now I might need a little bit of help with this. Uh, Helena Potfajeva with uh, Zippy Fast. This is a three-old uh, Border Collie bitch. Noisy one as well. Yep, Helena here was the winner in 2012, representing Slovakia. Really, really competitive young lady, this. Uh, doesn't take any prisoners, really attacks, of course. Oh, oh she's and the, the dog refusal off there. Oh, and another one. Overcorrected. Just tried. She saw the dog going for second and third. And ten faults now, ten penalties. They'll still qualify for the final. I think they will. This was a slightly more, a slightly different refusal because he makes as if he's going to jump it and then pulls away from it, and that counts as a refusal. Absolutely. Was it in a position to do the jump, the judge is asking? Yes, it was. And then she overcorrects, and then the dog goes round. Such a shame. Now from France, we have uh, Gregory Biel or Bia Bidalo from Toulouse in France. Cayenne Sweet Pepper is the name of this dog, seven years old. First time at Crufts. The same part in the FCI World Championship since 2009, so very experienced. Yes, he is. Uh, great dog, this. Uh, the French always produce some uh, and send some fantastic dogs over. So the judge ordered five faults there for the A-frame. Yes, what a time, though. Look at that time, 32.69. But five faults. Puts him in fourth place. I'm surprised we're not getting more clear rounds. Uh, we are getting some, but uh, there are only three, I think. This course is, is not a gimme, uh, and then you, this is, it's pressure. Well, it shouldn't be a gimme, should it, for international standards? We've got, we've got to have a real test here. This is from uh, Portugal, uh, Misty Golden Girl, five and a half year old boy. Oh, and the refusal there for the dog walk. Sergio Souza is the handler. Four-time Portuguese champion. Second place in the European Open this year. So they've plenty of experience, but five penalties for that refusal. This is the difficult spot. Oh, and just nearly running out, but didn't. Yeah. He's running backwards again. They do like to run backwards. I keep saying it. He's Nicely taking good handled. positions, though, Sergio. You can see why he's been a regular champion in Portugal. And a slower time, 38.16. Ten penalties in total. And I think we're just going to see the, the beginning here where, where he had a, had a problem. But what? Aren't these crowds the crowd being asked if they're enjoying it? They said they were. So and as you see, the handler was There's facing in the opposite on direction. The, uh, and dog walk. Took the dog Very away clear. with his shoulders. A great favourite here, Alan Bray. He was eliminated this morning, made a silly mistake uh, from Milton Keynes. The dog is uh, a bitch called Indiana. She's five years old. Up and over Dior Mine. Yeah, Alan's given himself a really good slapping after this morning's run. Uh, he, he's kicking himself, absolutely kicking himself. He just took his eyes off the dog. He'll want to show how good he really is. He's going to really attack this course. A great competitor, as you know, Peter, over the years. Absolutely. And, he, of course, he can't win the final, but he could win this event. I don't think he's going quick enough, actually. Very deceptive, though. Uh, it's not necessarily all out now. It's very he tight, get isn't he, tight on those turns? turns. Yep. He is good. He could get there. He could get there. 33, yes, come on! Oh, just outside of 35.036. So... No success for Alan today. A oh, shrug of the shoulders and a, and little, a grin. Little wry smile there, yeah. <laughs> he knows, he knows. He's a great, great guy, great supporter okay, of British agility, wow. Alan. Next to go, from Sweden. So a Swedish competitor now, Malin Elfstrom from Sweden with Nick, his five-year-old Border Collie dog, and a great start, great start, very quick. No, a Swedish Finnish and uh, Norwegian champion. 
second time taking part in the international championship here at Crufts. This is good. Oh, jump off. Two, two came off the uh, A-frame. Commentator's Five curse, bolts. Peter. Commentator's yeah. curse, but yeah. it is going well. She just needs to avoid this dreaded X. They'll qualify for the final. And they start with a clean sheet in the final. They do. Great time again, 32.921. I think that's going to be one that we need to watch in the final. It's got good ground speed and, again, a nice, easy decision there for our judge, Helen Saunders. They're in sixth place after that run in this particular competition. So now, from Switzerland, we have Bliss. Just three more to go. Another Border Collie or a working sheepdog been in the World Championships 2009, 2010 and 2012. Loads of experience, lots of skill and very good handling there, bringing the dog round, really making the dog have no opportunity to make a mistake. Looking to beat 34.380, the current leader, Sally Ann, could do from it. Belgium. Could do, it quite, could do it quite easily. As they come into the finish there, yes, it's time to beat, are they going to do it? Oh, oh they're yes. not. Yes, yes, they are. 34.05, they go into the lead. Anita Leonardi from Switzerland. Okay, next to go. Just giving us some idea of the form for, for later on. But bearing in mind there's a few tactics coming into play here. They just want to get round clear. The to go here in this from Finland, Alina Janaschimi with Omi, border collie dog, seven years old. was one of the eliminations from this morning, unfortunately. So again, can't win the over... Oh, and, uh, and jumped... Oh, the wrong jump. Oh, and jumping the wrong way. Never mind. Having such a lot of fun. Well, what do I normally say? <laughs> <laughs> the dog doesn't know it's gone wrong. It's Absolutely. having a ball. That's lovely. And it is. I mean, it's just, it's just a classic demonstration. That this is a game to the dog. It, all this training is done by repetition and reward, either toys or treats, and, it, and it's a game. And so I don't think Eleanor will mind. Two eliminations in two rounds, but they've had a ball. They've been here at Crufts in the International Agility Competition. And so we have the last dog to go. This is Chris Poinchester with Flixie Master Todd. Chris Poinchester from the Channel Islands. Classic Channel Island name there. St. Helier in Jersey. Represents the Channel Islands regularly at these competitions. Great competitor, suffers from his nerves just a little bit. And but he thanks the Kennel Club for, uh, for inviting him and allowing him to take part in this competition. Very nice of him to write that little note. Oh, and a missed course, and gone off the course, and uh, coming round again for another look at it, but an elimination. Yep, ran round the long jump, so in order not to be eliminated, he had to come back and correct that mistake before it did the next obstacle, which he failed to do. Now, how this all works is that dogs that are eliminated can't win the final. Some of them, the best ones, will complete the numbers because 16 dogs will take part in the final. That's all the clear rounds, all the non-eliminated dogs. By my reckoning, there's going to be about three or four eliminated dogs coming through to the final. But uh, that's the end of the competition there. And uh, in the lead, we have Anita Leonardi with Jolly Spirit from Switzerland, who have won that agility round. So there we are, confirmation of the result. Jolly Spirit there with Nita Leonardi from Switzerland in first place. Big City border jumper from Belgium with Sally Andrews in second place. Alan Bray making third place there, not quite good enough for him, with no faults, 35.03, it was a great run for him. Uh, Thomas Berendt from Germany there in fourth place. Didn't quite get down to the last, so I missed number five out, but here we are with Cayenne Sweet Pepper in uh, sixth place now we have the faults and uh, coming down on the side there the penalties against them all and uh, nothing very spectacular there but these 10 have all qualified in the final standings and we come in with a few more still with the penalties 11 down to 15 there just 10 penalties so i was probably wrong we're probably not going to get uh, 
any eliminations through to the final, or are we? Yes, we are. The first one, top of the list there, Daniel Fider. He will go through to take part, making up the numbers, and that's all. Those are the 16 qualifiers. Belgium with Big City Border Jumper. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's lap of honour time. 